Hi everybody, welcome back to Therapy Thursday. As you may be aware, this week is Mental Health Week, um, and I really wanna focus on um, mental health in a broad sense. Uh, I think Mental Health Week has come at a really good time this year as we enter another two weeks of social isolation, although things are starting to open up a little bit. We are still requested to stay home, um, stay inside, not interact with people who we normally would be around. Um, most people are, um, reporting higher levels of stress um, and emotional discomfort during this time. Um, but many people also are reporting that they're not accessing the resources available to them. This is likely because every two weeks when things get extended, we feel like there's gonna be more time for us to really work on our mental health and our wellness and, uh, and reach out to those resources. This is not the case. Um, we don't know how things are going to work out in this in this whole COVID-19 situation. Um, we don't know that if in two or three weeks we might be back to work and it will be too late um, to start working on the things that you wanted to work on about a month ago when you had the time. So now is the perfect time to reach out to the resources that are available to you, whether those are from the government website, whether you have a counselor, or reaching out to people that you know are a great support system for you. The other thing that I want to touch on today is the fact that we all have mental health. Mental health is on a spectrum from poor to excellent and we fit somewhere on that spectrum. So that means that some days we might be feeling really really well on that spectrum of mental health and sometimes we might be feeling a little bit lower on that spectrum and that's because we can move upon that continuum um, on a daily basis depending on life circumstances how we're feeling our sleep that night um, how we've nourished the body all these things affect how we feel throughout the day so if there's anything that i can recommend to you during this time is make sure you're focusing on your mental well-being to make sure that not only you feel good during all of this or feel a little bit better than you might have been feeling, but also so that when you do go back um, to your daily routine, for those of us who aren't working right now or who are working from home or who are laid off, you don't feel completely exhausted after a week or a couple days. This means that, and I touched on this in my last video, having routine and trying to get to bed and wake up at a similar time every day I also, I'll also recommend um, adding in some sort of gratitude activity throughout your day. So for me, I wake up every morning and I work on my gratitude journal. It takes me two to three minutes at most. It's really not a huge task. When you're at home during this time and you're not working and you're not doing as much as you normally do, it's the perfect time to start implementing this. If you have questions about what that gratitude journal should be asking and what some of those important questions are, reach out. You can easily DM us, email us, and I'll give you those questions. Um, you want to be asking things like, what do I want to accomplish today? Um, three things that I'm grateful for. And if you need any more ideas, just let us know. The other thing that would be really important for you to implement is some sort of nighttime routine. So whether this be meditation for some, if that's something that you um, enjoy, whether it's yoga, um, mindfulness, a body scan, maybe reading a book for 20 minutes before bed, doing something that's calming, relaxing, that's going to replenish and renourish you before bed so that you feel good when you wake up. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us. It is Mental Health Week and we are here to support you in any way that we can during this time. And we would love to hear how you've been um, throughout this whole experience and any support that we can provide, we would love to do that. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Bye.